Archangel Michael, Photon Belt, and Stargate. Via Christine Preston. August 7, 2016. Website. Galactic Federation of Light.wordpress.com. Produced by Higher Self. Drawing attention to a dictation by Archangel Michael previously published in Part 2 of the video Master Jesus, July 11, 2015. Christine, as recorded by Shuldan Niddle in his work, Your First Contact, We Are in a Void, created by a pinwheel, which was formed by an explosion labeled Nova 1987A, that became a neutron star called Avalis. The pinwheel is composed of photons, gamma rays, and antimatter particles. It was detected by scientists because it was carried on a gravity wave and came at high speed toward the solar system, and this led in 1995 to the scientific rediscovery of the photon belt which had been scanned near the Pleiades by a satellite in 1961. However, Scientists did not disclose to the public the fact that their telescopes had detected the gamma radiation. At the end of 1995, they came to the conclusion that humanity was going to perish due to a collision with these celestial objects at the end of 1996. They thought the pinwheel would destroy the Earth biosphere as well as its atmosphere. Using spectrometers, they also measured the photon belt and calculated that it would reach the solar system at the same time as the pinwheel. The secret team of astronomers were contacted by the Galactic Federation of Light Science and Exploration teams who explained that the collision of the two objects would create a void for the solar system to penetrate the photon belt. Archangel Michael, Earth scientists were really convinced at first that all life on Earth was going to be extinguished at the end of 1996, and they convened a council that established that within a year they would have to evacuate some elite members of the population to another planet. They already had a base on Mars and the Moon and proceeded to build spacecrafts that could transport them far away, but they needed to take refuge much further than that. They only had one year to do this so they collected all the resources they could in secret. They needed financial resources to secretly build what they needed for this enterprise. The scientists of Earth had doubts about the instruction given them by the science and exploration teams of the Galactic Federation of Light, as they were contacted. They were told the pinwheel would create a void to permit the solar system to safely penetrate the photon belt. The Mayan calendar envisaged an end of times that was interpreted by researchers and calculated to occur on December 21, 2012, and it was said that the solar system revolves around Sirius in a cycle of 26,000 years, and as stated by Shuldan Niddle, the photon belt returns to the Milky Way galaxy every 26,000 years. December 21, 2012 was expected to be the date when a galactic alignment was to drastically alter life on Earth, and it was by the end of December 2012 that the solar system could have reached the Stargate. The penetration of the solar system within the photon belt had taken place in January 19, 97. When the Earth entered the void created by the collision of the pinwheel with the photon belt, on January 1, 1997, the whole solar system was within a hologram. As I said before, we were due to reach the Stargate in December 2012, but we have stayed longer inside the void and the photon belt, and we should now enter the Stargate in 2017. This process should cause a shift to the fifth dimension because, as defined by Shuldan Niddle, a stargate is a place where light energies of different dimensions meet. Photon light has an effect on consciousness that in a sense prepares you for the meeting with higher energies. When it is time to raise humankind to the higher level of the fifth dimension, we shall enter the stargate. When this can occur is being presently debated by the karmic board. The stargate is a door opening to the higher dimension and you will be thrust up onto it. Even though the solar system entered the photon belt within a void, photonic light plays a role in the ascension process as a whole. The photon light causes the veils of consciousness to drop, 
and we are approaching a time when a zap or snap will occur, and that is when we enter the stargate. So, when the solar system enters the stargate, human life on Earth will jump to a higher dimensional reality and leave what still appears to be the third density. Then progress will be achieved in the creation of what has been termed New Gaia or Nova Earth, as well as the landings. Revisiting a dictation from Archangel Michael in the video update, July 28. Archangel Michael, the use of the Stargate is in connection with the whole solar system being brought closer to the star Sirius. We shall be staying in it for a period of two years. In the Stargate the solar system will be lifted up onto the fifth dimension. Mankind is presently being prepared for this shift. It will happen in a snap but changes will not be that noticeable because you will have reached a certain level of vibration just before the leap. However, you will be able to bring about changes as if by magic once you have crossed the line, so to speak. It will be after crossing that frontier that the contact with your galactic family will take place, because the beings who reside upon higher dimensions can only descend so far into a lower dimension without being adversely affected. After the transition to the fifth dimension through the Stargate, you will see what will unfold. Stargates are used to pass from one dimension to another. It will be a real beginning for the creation of the Golden Age of Gaia. Significant changes are taking place at the moment. Before now and the time the solar system enters the Stargate to be taken closer to Sirius, we will have been raising our vibrations higher and higher, and when we do enter it, the world will instantly be freed from the Dark Ones and therefore from their interference, because we will pass through a vortex of energy, an energy field, that will take us higher up to a higher dimension, where such darkness cannot exist, and all of a sudden, people will find themselves in a different reality. However, the surroundings will still be the same. For instance, concrete will not suddenly disappear, but you will find yourselves in a realm in which you will be able to change your environment easily, or more easily, almost as if by magic from your present point of view. You will be able to create a new reality easily and much faster than in the lower dimension. Your bodies will be the same, but you will be able to heal, and transform yourselves at an incredible rate. This means you will be able to rejuvenate and resurrect yourselves. Though the ascension is for all and the Divine Parents wish all to ascend, the removal of the oppression of darkness is but the first step in the creation of New Gaia. In the transition to the fifth dimension when the solar system moves into the Stargate, one of the effects of this quantum leap will be the removal of darkness as it cannot pass, it cannot exist at that level. One will be taken, the other left as stated in the scripture. One taken is the one that rejects the light of God and cannot exist in the fifth dimension. It is not the one that will experience a rapture as Christians believe it. So this is the prospect for the coming months, those ahead of August 2015 till the end of 2016 and beginning of 2017. There cannot be any more postponement or delays. It is imperative that the earth be lifted up and is not held back because mankind is not ready. Have no fear, have no doubt, this is the light agenda and we are firmly on track. The light is victorious. Yes, the omega point is the same as zero point when we will intervene directly, because something that has to be done is beyond mankind's capabilities. Your reality is encapsulated within boundaries and we will provide the push to make you step beyond that frontier into full consciousness, and this push will be provided by the Stargate. You are loved and protected. So are your children, your loved ones, your families, those you are connected to and you are all prodigious beings. You are children of the Sun, and of the Great Central Sun. You are soul extensions. You are manifesting a beautiful new world. We are rejoicing here on higher dimensions and in heaven. We are Archangel Michael and Faith, together with the masters of the Great White Brotherhood and your solar system spiritual mentors, as a collective, 
all one in heart, with love and light. And the beings of higher dimensions whom you call galactics, or your star brothers and sisters, join with us to tell you to be patient, to believe, to be in joy as we are so close. I am leaving you with this for now. Archangel Michael A shift in our perception of reality due to the photon belt, notes taken on September 7, 2015. Christine, I have received a message indicating that we are entering a phase in which a shift will manifest and the result will be that we will perceive reality in a different way. Political leaders should also be experiencing this change and it may be what will bring about peace in the world. Some explanations were given by Archangel Michael in part 2 of the July 11th message he channeled through me, the one concerning the fact that the solar system did enter the photon belt in 1996, but did not go into the void, nor the Stargate in December 2012, as it was expected to and as stated by Shuldan Niddle in his book, Your First Contact, published in 2000. The Stargate was supposed to boost Earth to the fifth dimension to a position closer to Sirius. The fact that we are still in the photon belt is being confirmed once again as the channeled messages from various sources are stating that we now are in the deepest part of the photon belt. We have therefore not left it. The light that is being irradiated to Earth is so intense that it has apparently had to be diffused by the Alliance or Galactic Federation of Light. The whole process that is about to happen is being referred as the event horizon. It is very much in connection with the light body activation and the appearance of Christ consciousness, as well as the various transformation of our physical bodies, and mutations in our DNA, which were central to our discussion in the introduction of this work. The process also relates to the ascension and rise onto the fifth dimension. So far we have risen our frequencies or vibrations, or consciousness, but we have reached the stage at which we will be experiencing a transformation of our reality. The light body, that celestial counterpart that had remained in heaven while we were incarnated in the third dimension, is descending. It is sometimes projecting bubbles of the causal body that are in the rainbow colors down to our level, and we are experiencing various degrees of Christ consciousness. What is happening is that some layers of five-dimensional energies are being superimposed upon our third-dimensional physical structure. What is happening is the miraculous miracle of transubstantiation, if we use Catholic terms. We need to understand how reality is created. Science explains that what we perceive of the world is holographic. In theory we have control over the manifestation of this reality and it is a subject that can be googled for more information. Names for the Photon Belt Christine, various names have been given to refer to the Photon Belt. Gamma Wave, Cosmic Wave, Grail Vortex, Galactic Superwave, Galactic Cloud, Unusual Nebula, Golden Nebula, Tsunami of Love and Light, Purple Photon Belt, Gamma Radiation, Electromagnetic Cloud, Corridor of Light, Wave X. Super Wave Astronomers refer to the Super Photon Wave. NASA has provided visual proof of its existence. The Photon Belt as well as the effects normally discussed in the context of the Ascension or the Great Awakening, has been discussed by other authors than Childan Niddle, for instance, Greg Braden who claimed that scientists identified an increase in the Schumann resonance of the Earth. Although it had remained at 7.8 Hz since it was discovered, it had been noted to have risen to 12 Hz from 1980. For Braden, it meant that a 24-hour day was now equivalent to one of 16 hours, as if time had been speeding up. He spoke of zero point, an expression once used by Ashtar in a channeled message. Back in the 1990s, there already were many accounts of how the photon belt would trigger Earth's ascent or ascension. Scientists made announcements because they were convinced that life on Earth would end when the solar system was due to collide with the photon belt, because of its gamma radiation, the date was January 19, 96. 
it was known that the photon belt would awaken our true selves, that it would cause the veil to drop, and even that the hologram we are in would dissolve as a result of the photon's effects. The light body was not so well understood in those days as it is not something that can be activated, but its descent is what causes the ascension. However, the changes expected on December 21, 2012 had not manifested. For some time now, Archangel Michael and Andre have been approaching the subject of the separation of realities. Certain grids that have supported the third-dimensional hologram have been removed. Now we are being told that certain timelines were merged together on September 7, 2015, so we can be in alignment with the fifth-dimensional New Earth, and cross the Rainbow Bridge to a new perception of reality on September 28. It is when the energies will peak. It is difficult to understand, but once this has happened, we will be in the fifth-dimensional matrix in consciousness, and will be able to create new Gaia. Billions of people should integrate the new energies, and for this, they must reach the Schumann resonance of 21 Hz, which is that of the fifth dimension. Notes taken on September 17, 2015 Christine, before falling asleep, I did some visualizations and saw in my mind's eyes some bubbles, or spheres, of the rainbow colors descending from my causal body towards me. In the morning I listened to Archangel Michael. He told me more about Twin Flames. He told me that there is less time in the day, so what we count as 24 hours, are in actual fact less than that. Later I did some prayers in the power of the spoken word with the tape I have. Archangel Michael said that the attunement and visualizations are as important as the decrees. There also is an ample accumulation of energies from global prayers over the last decades for the angelic kingdom to carry out interventions. In the past, they knew there would be a critical time in the future, and kept some on the side, as we do money in a bank, knowing they would be needed at this time. Europe is being overwhelmed by a flux of refugees from Syria and other countries ravaged by war. David Icke is of the opinion dark powers planned it a long time ago to cause chaos. Notes taken on September 19, 2015 Christine, in my notebook I wrote, This morning, after my attunement with my I Am Presence, it was Lord Buddha who spoke to me. I heard him or an angel saying that I was at 27. I took it to be a reference to the Schumann Resonance, 27 Hz. This was confirmed later. I had an image in my mind's eyes of a ceiling. I was slowly rising towards it. Later I became a bit emotional and intense as I was asking for peace and images of villages with people enjoying a perfect climate, as it was the case in the golden days when there were crystal temples supporting a firmament made of ice. Then I heard some excitement in the background and had mind images of beings moving about and being excited. I didn't dismiss what I was perceiving as I am increasingly perceiving details of this sort during the telepathic communications. Then a voice said they were the control room. I think it means I am constantly being monitored by Ashtar command, as I think Lord Ashtar then spoke to me, and then said I went to 34 Hz, and that it was premature. If I understand this correctly, the Schumann resonances are electromagnetic waves that occur at certain frequencies, but can vary daily. However, there are disagreements with regard to these matters between mainstream scientists and the lightworkers. From the latter's point of view, we all need to reach 21 Hz for the experience that is coming our way on September 28, but I think it was implied during my attunement that the ceiling was at 33 Hz. The Earth's Schumann resonance was 7.83 Hz in the third dimension. You probably need to have studied quantum physics to understand what will take place in relation to our perspective of reality on September 28, and as a result of two additional waves that will occur during 2016, as long as you are not restricted by mainstream science, the one that the dark forces have imposed upon the scientific community.
in the event horizon, is the world reality going to change, or are we going to get a different set of eyes? This is food for thought. The effects of photon light. Revisiting an update dated September 20, 2015. Christine, Archangel Michael who enters into conversation with me every two days or so, has entrusted Andre, my ascended twin flame, to provide this update. I am able to enter into telepathic communication with him at any time and he is constantly monitoring what is going on, as well as acting as a guardian angel for me. Andre, I am a soul extension of Archangel Michael. I didn't know he was my higher self or that I was an incarnation of this Lord of Light when I was alive. I have gained my ascension in 2012 and I have a direct connection with him as I deliver his message. In part 2 of the July 11th message entitled Master Jesus and Christ Collective, Archangel Michael explained that the solar system did penetrate the photon belt on January 1, 1996, but that we did not enter a stargate as we were expected to on December 21, 2012, and furthermore, that the quantum leap that was part of the plan is to happen early in 2017, or by the end of 2016. Christine, note on August 7, 2016, this quantum leap appears to be the one to fourth density which is to do with our physical reality, whereas our shifts to the fifth dimension in September 2015 and March 20, 2016, were related to consciousness, our perspective, our spirituality, our mindset. Continuation, Andre, you may have heard more than you think about the photon belt, because the existence of this oddity in space has been brought to the attention of the light workers under other names, and there is scientific as well as photographic evidence for it. Gamma wave, cosmic wave, grail vortex, galactic superwave, galactic cloud, unusual nebula, golden nebula, tsunami of love and light, purple photon belt, gamma radiation, electromagnetic cloud, Corridor of Light, Wave X, the super wave astronomers know about, Super Photon Wave. The solar system is currently progressing towards the densest area of this gigantic nebula stream of concentrated ions of light. The quantum leap that was planned by the use of a stargate was postponed. Stargates are vortices where the energies of different dimensions meet. They are used for interstellar traveling in the galaxy. The use of the stargate is necessary to bring the solar system to a closer position to Sirius, three light years or so, instead of eight light years, our present distance from this constellation. This leap also formed part of the divine plan of ascension as it provides the means to remove from Earth those appalling living sources of corruption, wars, and violence. But not enough souls could have attained the Schumann resonance of 21 Hz, as far as their vibration was concerned, to take part in the dimensional jump that is one of the effects of such stargates, although they had the potential for it. So, not only has the project of a snap that would manifest a fifth dimensional reality been postponed, but plans have been made for three waves of ascension, the first of which is expected on September 28, 2015, so that the light can be diffused and the changes can occur more gradually. The interstellar journey through the Stargate is related to the fact that the Council of Sirius has recently taken over the supervision of evolution in the solar system. The Kachina star of the Hopi Indians is indeed Sirius. It will seem as if it is approaching, but in reality, it will be the other way around. So an extension was provided on December 21, 2012, and this explains why more than has happened was expected by the light workers. It is our wish that all souls take part in the project of the awakening and restoration of mankind to a higher dimension. This entails the creation of a reality in which life is pleasant, and there is prosperity, love, culture, and peace. It is a reality that is even beyond what science fiction writers could imagine. 
some changes will come about due to the irradiation of the photon belt upon the human body. The appearance of certain abilities that you may call psychic will open the way for everyone to enter into telepathic communication with celestial beings, and they will obtain their own proof if they are skeptic. There will be no limit to the joy that all people will be able to experience. Whether they are yet reunited with their twin flame, or not, people will discover a new depth of love and feelings that they are presently unable to experience. There will be healing and death will eventually be an atrocity of the past. Our galactic families will land and share their technology, as well as all their sciences, including the records they possess concerning our galactic history. They will land, and in due time, the Ascended Masters will assume bodies to carry out their missions. This self-manifestation of a form was used in antiquity as not all initiators used the process of incarnation. They created a form they inhabited. And this was done by Saint Germain a few centuries ago. In some cases twin flames will be reunited by this method. Hold this vision of coming miracles, for on September 28th, the energies will be greatly increased. They will cause the people who have the highest Schumann resonance to perceive reality in a new way. It will be a healing, and the energies coming into activity at this time will be from Mighty Cyclope. As you know Mighty Cyclope is the Elohim who governs all matters related to vision, such as that which you experience through the third eye. This is the chakra of perception and of discernment, that of the vision of enlightenment that permits you to distinguish between right and wrong. It is an essential ability to attract to you solutions to problems, because before obtaining the knowledge concerning the solution that is required for a problem, you need to understand the real causes of this problem. Christ consciousness brings to you this enlightenment and this perception. The light body that is prodigiously descending as part of the process of the ascension is the Christ self, and Christ consciousness is being birthed. It comes with Buddhic illumination. The higher wisdom that will result from a clearer perception of reality will represent the potential for many politicians to manifest global solutions to the problems of the world. It is the way that the will of God will materialize. It is superior to the human will, but as you progress and integrate Christ consciousness, your own will is brought into alignment with the will of God as well as the grand scheme of ascension. The photon light changes you. It strips you of the veils of ignorance and of illusion. You were separated from your celestial counterpart which is also called the light body, while in incarnation in the lower realm of the third dimension. As you are being elevated in consciousness, the light body is able to descend. You see, a wave of ascension is due to take place on September 28th. The photon light will be at its strongest and billions of people will experience changes. They will gain abilities to bring about transformations in their world that would have been called miraculous in the past. It is a process that is part of the overall manifestation of the Kingdom of God, which the Master Jewel Cool calls the Fifth Kingdom. I like this term because it relates to the manifestation of the physical angels or galactic humans of the Fifth Dimension. The fourth is the human kingdom. Physicality will gradually become manifested in the image of its etheric blueprint. It is a matrix or a grid that supports reality. The darkness of the world will be transmuted by the light. The evildoers will not pass into this kingdom. The light of the photon belt, that you are being irradiated with, is also causing the veils of illusion to drop. The illusion that is the result of centuries of indoctrination, and that is limiting people's viewpoints, will fade away. Science has been restricted by the dark beings who have controlled the world. The media has been controlled as well. But we are now in an era of spiritual revolution and freedom. It applies to views, speech, communication, science and education. You may have noticed the amount of disclosure taking place on a vast range of subjects in the media. 
it is happening because of the ascension process and because we are in a photon belt that is having an effect on our consciousness. It is causing the great awakening and the many changes that were prophesied long ago are taking place. There will be peace on earth. We shall become fully conscious beings. We shall recover the memory of who we are. We are being physiologically transformed in preparation for our transition to a higher dimension. We are being transfigured and enlightened, and in the process of creating a new world, a new Gaia, free of pollution. We will achieve the eradication of diseases and death. We will be the stewards of the planet and be compassionate towards animal life and all beings. We will look after their needs. The truth will be known about the existence of galactic and spiritual beings in our solar system, as well as the existence of humanoids throughout the universe. We are being helped and shall enter a period of transition during which we will use a technology inspired, or given to us, by other worlds. Eventually we will return to a more natural way of existence in harmony with nature and all higher forces. We will learn about the Galactic Federation of Light and the Earth will become part of it. The fifth dimension is the abode of higher beings which is called heaven in biblical scripture and the galactic beings who will come among us are collaborating with the lords of light, the archangels, and ascended masters of the spiritual and esoteric traditions, who were also known as divine beings, Buddhas, prophets, or saints. There is no need for fear or concern about the ascension. We should be grateful it is taking place because we now have a future to look forward to for our children and the nations. There will be two more waves of ascension that will bring further changes during 2016. We are also due to enter the Stargate as we were expected to in 2012. Note on August 7, 2016, see Archangel Michael's message, announcement dated September 23, 2015. Continuation, Andre, I think I have answered the main questions relevant to this coming wave of ascension. Your participation in this project is the greatest service you can give, because in the process that you are being lifted due to your spiritual aspiration towards your I Am Presence and a greater spirituality, you bring your families and friends with you, as well as all of mankind, closer to the place where there is but love and joy. This is because we are all interconnected. For the time being I therefore bid you farewell with love. This was a continuous dictation from Andre, speaking on behalf of Archangel Michael.